So in this video, in the chapter of electronic structure of atom, you are going to learn about photoelectric effect and you will know what is the threshold frequency is and the two equations you will be needing in this chapters are also given there. So now let us go further and learn what is photoelectric effect and we will do some questions on photoelectric effect. So just consider a, a nucleus and I have shown some three electrons around it. And we know that these electrons are bound by a energy and that is the binding energy. And suppose a photon with an energy E2 hits the atom. This energy E2 can be represented as E2 equals H nu. So when this happens, either E2 can be equal to W. In that case, electron gets knocked off. If E2 is less than W, actually nothing happens. And the third case, when E2 is greater than W, this is an important case. So in this case, what happens is an electron gets knocked off and it acquires a kinetic energy. So apart from the two energies which you have been talking about, E2, the energy of the photon and uh, W, the energy of the, uh, the with which the electron is bound to the um, nucleus, and it is a third energy, the kind of the occurred energy, the kinetic energy. So the relation between all these three energy is given by the equation E2 equals kinetic energy plus W, and you know that E2 as we have defined as H nu, E2 is H nu, and uh, W which is also an energy can be defined as H nu 0 where the word nu 0 we call it as the threshold frequency and uh, rearranging it we can get that kinetic energy is equal to H nu minus H nu 0. This is an important equation and you will be doing a uh, lot of questions based on this. Calculate the minimum frequency of light that is required to release an electron from metal and the binding energy is also given. So this is the case, we just want to knock it off. That means the energy with which we have to hit the nucleus is equal to the binding energy or in other words, the kinetic energy is zero. So we will use the equation H nu equals uh, zero plus W and uh, H is given, W is given. So you need to calculate the value of nu, substitute all the values and get the value of frequency. Calculate the kinetic energy of an ejected electron if a light of wavelength 358 nanometers strikes a metal and the binding energy of the electron is also given. So in this case, since we have asked you to calculate the kinetic energy of the ejected electron, use the same formula. Kinetic energy equals E2 minus W. E2 is not given but the wavelength is given. Therefore, substitute E2 in terms of HC over lambda and uh, W is given, lambda is given, we know H and C, substitute all the values in and get the value of kinetic energy. And as usual, remember to convert the wavelength from nanometer to meter. An electromagnetic radiation of wavelength 287 nanometers strikes a metal and an electron with the kinetic energy of 3.85 10 to the power of negative 19 joules is ejected. What is the threshold frequency of the metal? So use the same equation, but I have represented the equation in such a form that you can see the threshold frequency. Nu zero uh, is the one they have asked for, and um, kinetic energy is also given. Uh, nu is not given, but it can be calculated because the wavelength is given. The detailed uh, steps of calculation is uh, given over there because it is easier to calculate and you will make less mistakes if you calculate the way I have shown. Take out the H which is common between nu and nu zero and then uh, bring the H to the kinetic energy side. So in and then uh, since the uh, nu is not given, uh, you ca calculate it using the velocity of light and the wavelength. Convert the wavelength into uh, meters. And after you calculate all these things, the whole equation becomes simpler. It will be a simple subtraction and the threshold frequency mu zero can be calculated. So the question is not difficult, but some of the care you should take is 
work out at least one or two questions on it because students usually make mistakes in uh, parentheses and ticking out of the parentheses. And nu zero is the threshold frequency. Nu is the uh, frequency with which the light strikes. If these basic factors are clear, you will never go wrong in such questions. Calculate the wavelength of light that strikes a metal with a threshold frequency of uh, 2.84 10 to the power of 14 and it ejects an electron with a kinetic energy of 5.48 10 to the power of negative 19. You are going to use the same equation. So in this case, nu zero is given and they have asked you the wavelength of the light. So what we can do is we will calculate the frequency nu using this formula and we know that from the value of phi in frequency we can calculate the wavelength using lambda equals c over nu. Therefore it, the question is pretty simple. Substitute the value of c and the calculated nu and get the value of lambda and report the value of lambda in nanometers.